I have to ask Liz this because I've never been to an Ikea in my life. I've only driven by them. Okay. Food? Yeah. I know it's not a grocery store, but there's food? Yeah. You can buy meatballs. You can buy all kinds of things. So it is a grocery store with Uh, furniture? Yes. I wouldn't call it a grocery store. There are just some things that you can get. Okay. Some food items. Good thing. Because in Denmark, it snowed so bad that the, the people that were there at night got stuck. Like the employees? In the blood. There, no, there were six people that were shopping. Oh, my goodness. So they were stuck there. 24 people that were working there were stuck there. So they had to stay there the entire night. So they made, you know, the best of it. They played games. They slept in the beds. And here's the nice, and I guess you would call it a cute thing. Uh, they even sang the employees mm-hmm. lullaby songs as their guests were falling asleep. Now, it's Dutch. You get it. And I'll come down again. I don't know what the song is. Liz is getting tired. But very nice. So sweet. That is so nice that they took care of them. First of all, I got to think, you knew there was a blizzard. Did you not check your weather app? Well, 12 inches all of a sudden, it was like, whoa, this is worse than what we thought. So they thought, because they're probably used to driving in the snow, maybe unlike we are around (laughs) Carolinas and Georgia. It was pretty bad. I mean, you couldn't see whiteouts and all that other stuff. So they had a good night's sleep. They were able to get up the next morning, have some meatballs, and then, you know, get on with the rest of their day. (laughs) Rob and Liz, his morning crew. I know it was a popular program back in its day, but I had no idea it had conventions. Thank you for being a friend. It's Rob and Liz, his morning crew on his radio. <laughs> really? That has a convention? It's the first one ever, I think. Um, it's kind of like Comic Con, which is for like comic book, you know, enthusiasts, that kind of thing. Superheroes stuff. Yeah, but this one's called Golden Con. And it's going to happen next year uh, somewhere near Chicago, and it's called Thank You for Being a Fan. (laughs) Oh, well, there you go. Off the little jingle about the show. Yeah, so it's only like a couple of days, but they're going to have markets. They're going to have entertainment. They're also going to have trivia based on the Golden Girls. I will say I've, I've... really not been a huge fan of the Golden Girls. I'll watch it every now and then if there's nothing else on, but, you know, I mean, it's fun. This has to be because Betty White is turning 100. Is she turning 100 this yeah. year? Yeah. No, next year. I mean, next year. I think it's like January. Oh, well, it could be. I, that's, got, that's the only thing why I think that they're doing this. Well, they said it's the first annual, so I think they're planning on of course you know betty white's gonna live forever is what people think <laughs> it kind of seems like it right <laughs> rob and liz his morning crew six years ago wanda sent out a text and she said you know want to remind you that thanksgiving is uh thursday at three o'clock or whatever the the case was and when she sent it it mistakenly went to jamal she was sending it to her um nephew i think but it went to jamal Went to, yeah, went to the wrong one. Yeah. You probably know that. Yeah. That was six years ago. And But they've spent Thanksgiving together every year since, which is amazing to me. So Wanda's husband passed away um, last year, but Jamal and his girlfriend were there for the family, you know, to help them get through. They were there again this year. So we've heard this story for years. Netflix finally said, this will make a really good movie. They are going into production, from what I understand, very soon, and possibly will have it on Netflix um, by next Thanksgiving. I wonder how they're going to do the movie. I don't know. I I mean, the plot is... You sent the text to the wrong person, mm-hmm. and then they come for Thanksgiving. Well, you know? I, I think they'll, to me, if I were the director or the writer, I guess, screenplay writer, I would look at both of their backgrounds and see why did he accept, and why did she continue with the message of, well, you can still come. You're not my family, you know, my my biological family, but you can come on. You know, the more the merrier. So why did they both make those decisions and then the relationship, how did it grow since then? Yeah, it's a neat thing. And and a lot of people talk about this yeah. every year because he still goes back. Yeah. Which is really nice. And, you know, I, that will be a Netflix movie I think I would watch. I hope it's a nice, good, feel-good I do movie. Too. We need more of those. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. 
Tom had some big plans for his last day before he retired. He had to actually work on Thanksgiving Day. And he thought, you know, I am, I'm going to make today count. So he goes to work, uh, and he is the captain of a ferry. So he's out and about with his crew, and they hear about a woman who has fallen overboard, not of their boat, but of someone else's boat, and they took off to rescue her. Ended up saving her life on Thanksgiving, on his last day before he retired. How awesome is that? Hey, you know. He, he worked for the uh, ferry company, and I don't know if he's ever rescued anybody before, um, but he'd worked there for 25 years. And on his last day, on Thanksgiving, <laughs> saves a lady's life. Right. I mean, that is the way to retire in style. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Oh, did you hear what Legos did? Mm -mm. The owner of the company said every employee, they have like 20,000. Wow, that's a lot. Wow. 20,000 people that work for them. They said all 20,000, three extra days off. What? Yeah, on top of whatever they already have on their vacation. Wait, so you take what everybody makes per day, 20,000 times three, that, that's a lot of money. Plus, they said a top up on their promo on their not their promotion on their budget are not their budget their bonuses yeah thank you oh, okay <sighs> where's my brain <laughs> on their bonuses yeah so they're gonna get extra three days off per year plus or- extra in their bonus no just this year oh okay plus okay. extra in their bonus so before the end of the wow. year they get another three days off so that sounds like one of those companies you know there's always a list every year of the top companies to work for i'm thinking lego's trying to get at the top of the list well they had 140 percent profit this year people are staying home doing and, some lego and they're like we are just so grateful for everybody's hard work wow. you know hey take another three days off we'll give you extra in their bonus and what the and the last time they did the extra in the bonus was 2015, mm-hmm. where everybody got an extra month of salary. What? So some people are thinking that might be what they do again. You know what? They are trying to combat that supply chain issue themselves. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just neat. So I'm I'm like Legos. Hats off to you. And if you're looking for a job, maybe you check Lego. Yeah, because they're they're doing pretty good. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Some people just need that adrenaline rush to start their day. His morning crew with Rob and Liz, his radio. This one dude did. He goes sky surfing. That's like surfing, but in the sky. You jump out of a plane with your parachute. You have this little sky surfing board. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of do twists and turns and somersaults and stuff like that. Pull the parachute and boom, you're down on the ground. Who thinks of things like this? This guy decided, I'm going to make the world record of how many helicopter spins I'm going to do. And, and it's exactly what it looks like. Guy's upside down as he jumps out of the plane with his parachute. And then while he's upside down, he spins around like a helicopter. Wow. He did 160, which turns out to be a world record. So he's in Guinness now with a world record. He did 160 of those spins. Good grief. Before he pulled the ripcord. I'm thinking, how dizzy was this dude? Exactly. <laughs> Before he hit the ground. And he did it over the Egyptian pyramids, too. Oh, so, no, that's cool. Yeah, I know, right? So, wow, He looks like a figure skater. You know how fast they do their spins on the ice? Oh, I see. It, it's what he looks like he's doing, but, you know, how many thousand feet mm-hmm. in the air. Wow. How you don't lose your cookies in that? I mean, I know, right? right? <laughs> but he, Sorry, he Egypt. did it. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Online, all of a sudden, it's just exploding everywhere where you see a little baby at one day old come home from the hospital and introduced to the husky in the family, the family dog. And then all of a sudden, it goes on and you see one week old, one month old, and it progresses like that all the way till this baby is three years old. And you see the relationship and how inseparable this dog is from the baby. It's amazing. It is. And and the dog is just, I mean, you can see the emotion in his eyes. Normally, like my dog won't look me directly in the eye sometimes. You know, they kind of avert their eyes a little bit. This dog makes a connection with this little boy and it is just the sweetest it's so cute. thing. You watch these videos, I'm telling you, I feel like your blood pressure goes down. Like you feel peaceful. It just melts your heart. When yeah. you see that relationship. It is such a cool relationship. The dog, you can see, absolutely loves. And when the baby's sleeping, the dog's like cuddled right up next to this little Spooning child. Spooning the yeah. little boy. Like got his his arm around him and everything. There's a new baby in the family. 
Oh, no way. Aaron, and? And the dog is uh, loving on the little girl as Look well. Look at that. And, and almost like a little babysitter, uh-huh. it, it looks like, you know, to make sure he's he and she are okay. I love this. I love this That is so cool. Yeah. Love it.